Welcome back everyone to Retired Bear Harrison. And this is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to take you downtown, give you another tour of the downtown area. But this time I'm going to show you buildings I hadn't showed you before, or at least I hadn't showed them to you during the daylight. Two, we're going to do an update, checking the accuracy and the focus of the Olympus 14 to 150 lens. And three, since it's a very, very gray overcast day, and some people say that might be the worst day to shoot, but actually sometimes the worst day to shoot could be the best day to shoot because, you know, it forces you to be a little creative. So we're going to see today how well we can make the colors pop on a very gray overcast day. And with that being said, come on downtown with me and I'll see you on the other side. This is going to be a walking tour. So our first stop will be the Italian restaurant. Can you smell the fresh baked bread? No need to worry if the Italian restaurant is full. Less than a 30 second walk across the street is the table restaurant. While the vegetables are so fresh, you can hear them growing. Why are we stopping here at the water tower? For a little self promotion. As you can see, we're all American city. And you can tell by the murals, we're also an artsy city. You're probably asking again, why the cement plant? Simple. The plant is gray, cement is gray, and it's a gray overcast day. It's a natural. And of course, the railroad sign and rail car is self-explanatory. How do you think they get the materials for the cement? Now this shot reminded me of the Marshall Tucker Band. Going to take a freight train down the station now, and I don't care where it goes. Looking for a plant? but you don't know where to find it, well, step on in. Well, listen, across town, around the world, the nice folks here would be more than willing to help you out. Getting hungry again from all this walking? Well, step on in to Times Square, another Italian restaurant we have in the city. It's right downtown. And if you leave here hungry, it's your own fault. You don't need a meal, you say, but you are a little thirsty. Well, step on in to the brewery where you can find beers from across town, across the state, and from around the world. And right across the street from the brewery is Antiques and Things. Now you know what antiques are, but what about the things? You might just want to step in before you leave our beautiful city. Now that you have shopped for antiques, it's time for a little dessert. So stop in at Magnolia 23 for their world famous desserts. And also, the world-famous soul food, I believe Don Cornelius of Soul Train fame, said it best when he'd always sign off the show, at least in my version, love, peace, and soul food at the Magnolia 23. Now that you're feeling good after all that delicious food, with New Year's coming up, you know you're going to have to stop in and get your hair done. And while you're downtown, don't worry about getting lost. We have signs showing you the way. And every way is the right way when you're in Ashbury. This antique store is the last stop on our tour. Step on in and browse for a while. As you can see from the window, you can pick up some vintage gas pumps or a vintage wedding dress. But of course, you have to supply your own bride. Well, what do you think? By doing a little creative editing, did I make the colors pop? Leave your answers below. And of course, while you're down there, the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos and also if you do like what you see leave a comment you know that motivates me to go out and do more videos if you don't like what you see it's fine to leave a comment because guess what that will also motivate me to go out and do more videos you know I say it all the time when it comes to photography no one knows it all and the more you learn about photography the more you learn you didn't know. And of course, I also want to let you know, as always, if you have any suggestions, I can get better or something else I can maybe shoot, do a little creative editing and photography on, let me know, because I'm, I'm, I'm all open for all ideas. And with that being said, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you next time.